Hello there my lovely frugal friends, it is nearly the end of May and we have finished our shopping for this month. We are not planning on buying anything else. I will not be going into any supermarkets, so there is nothing else for me to add to this month's shopping. So I want you to have a look and see what you think about what we bought this past month. We did visit a few different shops that we would normally go to, so we had a go at Manchester World Food Market and also we visited one of our favourite places, Unicorn Grocery. Hello there, if you've not been here before, I'm Samantha, this is the channel trying to get by because that's what we are trying to do, we're getting by with the budget that we have got. And how's your budget going? <laughs> I'm finding my food budget is stretching rather thin at the moment in comparison to what it used to do, so we are probably spending a little bit more than our what we would like to spend, which is about £100 a month. It's not quite doing that at the moment but it will be interesting to see at the end of the year what the difference is compared to previous years um, shopping budgets hopefully we won't be too far off the difference so let's have a look at what we bought this month just nipped to Morrison's as we were getting some dog food we get it from dog Tesco's Morrison's and Asda because they seem to grow bored of one flavour and we need to go to another place. Anyway, I spotted the I can't believe it's not for one twenty five instead of £1.50, so I thought we'd top up. Chris is not feeling particularly great, so we're going to skip this weekend's Monday, Tuesday visit to the Asian markets that I had planned. We're going to do that next weekend, but I did definitely need potatoes and nutritional yeast, so we grabbed those while we were there. £10.15 spent for the shop of the month. We've just done a nip to the mother-in-laws and so while we were there, while we were on our way, she wanted us to get some bits from Tesco so we grabbed some a little few bits while we were there. I am out of milk. This is definitely, apart from Aldi, the cheapest place to get milk. 50p a litre for me. Chris was saying, because there's an Asda not far from there, she would go to Asda. Looked up their milk. It was £1 something. I was like, no, not in your life. We'll stick to this. Um, spotted these as well, reduced from £3, so I thought, well, we'll grab a couple of those and a bit of beetroot salad as well. A bit of a Greek white cheese, a vegan one, um, just because, you know, we've got the salads, we might as well have something nice and crumbly and tasty to go with it. And eggs from my friend's chickens. So, it was £10.34 for this stuff and £3 for the eggs, so £13.34. Add it to the total in the corner and we'll see where we're up to next. Some bits and bobs we needed from Tesco, plus some bits and bobs that we spotted in Tesco. So we've got bananas that we normally get. Now, I root round in your small bananas. The smaller bananas were reduced in Tesco's to be comparative with Aldi. Yet, some of them were that big. They were tiny, so I had to route round some different boxes till I found some that were much, much bigger. But yeah, these were a good third smaller than um, this pack that I ended up finding. So definitely have a route around. Corn for Chris, still not on offer. So he's just having the one pack. Um, tofu, because we're completely out of tofu. And this worked out the best value. Uh, Minestrone soup, because Chris needs it for work. So we've got those. Now, if you saw my video from... It will be now a few weeks back. I made summer pudding and we've been having it with ice cream, but I spotted some our processing and I thought, well, we'll get that. We'll have some more of it with a little dash of cream in there. And these can go in the cupboard, so that's pretty good. Then I spotted these reduced, which are yummy. Um, no beef and bean patties, slightly spiced. So they look really, really tasty. So I think as the weather warms up and maybe over the coronation weekend, we might have a slight barbecue, depending on what the weather's like. And those might go on there. And then <gasps> I spotted these. I've had this bar before in a Try It box where I got one free and this No Missing Out brand is really nice. And these are hazelnut crunch chocolate bars. And normally when you get vegan chocolate bars, they are like, what is it meant to be? Let me have a look. They're normally, these are meant to be £2.10 each, and we got them for a pet about a pound each. So I'm not going to complain. They're going to go in the fridge. They'll come out for like little nice little snacks. So, all in all, with what we bought, £6.14 added to the total in the corner. 
hoping this weekend we will be going to the Asian markets and grabbing some fabulous bargains while we are there. Right, so we went to our Worldwide Foods at Old Trafford and this is what we ended up buying. We bought some cornmeal. This is great for making um, polenta and also great for making cornbread. Absolutely love this stuff. Brilliant. Got some soy chunks um, because they're nice nuggety big chunks of soy and they're really easy to do. All you do is um, add them to some stock or some hot water and they will end, um, get bigger. So they swell up. They're really, really nice. Some tahini because that's really nice for my dressings. Some ginger, because I'm making some ginger and lemon teas at the moment. And these two, which were a bit of a cheeky buy, but they were only um, a pound each. So this is Black Sol, also known as Cal and the Mac. This is from, um, I think it's from the Punjab region of India, around that sort of area, I believe. But it is a Black Sol and it is slightly sulfuric-y smelling. So for me, when if I make a tofu scramble, I add a little bit of this and it makes it a bit more eggy. And yes, this is MSG. I watch um, a few different channels on YouTube and I've kind of always wanted to try it just to see how it does make the change to the food. So for a pound, I thought, yeah, you know what, let's give it a go. So that is all our worldwide foods we got. But we also went to Unicorn Grocery and we did a quick flyby to Lidl, so I'll show you what we got for those. Okay, this is a combination of Unicorn and Lily's Deli, which is just a few doors down from Unicorn. So from Lily's Deli, which cost us £11.23, while I remember, we got all these Maggie noodles, which were 25p each. We got a kilo of cashews. So, and that is a really good price, because loads of places we have been to that are selling cashews are selling them... I think we saw the other day, £16 a kilo. And these were £6.99 for the kilo. And broken are absolutely fine. Um, some ginger paste, that's for cooking, not like the ginger, the fresh ginger that's going in my tea. Some garlic paste, because I always like to have it in, because it's just handy. So that was from there. Then the rest is from Unicorn. So we have got ourselves some uh, large baking potatoes. We've got ourselves some really big peppers um red onions white onions white mushrooms sweet potatoes some avocados some lemons and then in our little bags we have got some baking powder we have got some tarragon we have got some mixed herbs we have got some smoked paprika and we have got our bullion powder so this is a big top up of a lot of spices and herbs and things that we needed to get and that was £23.12. So I'm thinking already this month we are well near the top end of our budget of what we have um, we like to spend for the month. But this is going to last us for a good while. Um, a lot of this stuff I will chop up and put into the freezer or just have it prepared and ready for other meals. So that's where we're up to. That's the shop that we've done. Would I go back to Manchester Grocery again? To be honest, yes, I would. There were a massive amount of dried products there. So rice and beans and lentils and things like that there that I didn't need this time, but was really interesting to see all the different things that they had got. And if you are interested in particularly ethnic cuisine, then there are lots of really nice different things that you can get from there. This is what we ended up getting from Lidl. So we have got our eight milks, our lactose-free milks that we like to get. Let's skip this banana um, chunk and peanut butter vegan ice cream because we wouldn't have normally got this, but mm, Chris spotted it in the freezer and was like, oh, we've got to try it. So we were persuaded by that. And we are topping up our crispy slices, which we know are cheaper. So the main reason for Lidl is these are both massively cheaper. Um, topped up some green lentils and black beans that I've just used recently. Ketchup, because we are out and I'm going to make some rhubarb barbecue sauce, because we have so much rhubarb growing. And a couple of little um, OT bites, which are quite a nice little chocolatey snack. So, including the ice cream, because we have to, it comes to... I can't remember. I did write, I did, oh. I'll stick it in the corner there. 
Thursday shopping with my dad. This is it. Coffee, juice, ham for Chris's sandwiches. And you can quite clearly see it came to £8.45. Crikey. However, these do last absolutely ages and um, the coffee we don't use as much as we do tea, but it's nice to have it in and Chris takes it to work so that's where he drinks his coffee. So add that to the total in the corner and see what's coming up in the next shops. Quick ad midweek, spotted these in Sainsbury's, £1.50 each and these are nearly 400 grams. I find that these are really, really good and these are cold gin one compared to tofu uh, are more square so they're better for cutting especially if you want to do slices and they are longer and yeah they're just it's just a better brand generally um so it was a good price so i thought i'd get a couple of them and they last till the 28th of the 6th but you can freeze them regular shopping day today just topping up on all the regular stuff that we might need so lemonade top up we've just run out of vegetable oil uh, which was a pound cheaper than sunflower oil, so that's not too bad. Uh, decaf tea, got those as well. Uh, Chris has just run out of tea. Um, got some sugar, got some sugar to top up for the baking cupboard. Some more of this plant um, garlic and herbs of cheese. It was really tasty. We had it with some pasta. Paracetamol for the dog. <laughs> we get, Archie is allowed with the size of him, I think he's allowed three halves of paracetamol a day. We generally just give him a couple of halves and see how he gets on. We have got our vegan smoky bacon, which is still at stupid prices. I have been, this is £2.60 for 100 grams. That's ridiculous, but it's what it is. But I have been interspersing his sandwiches with other things. Um, I did um, mashed chickpeas with some homemade mayonnaise, some sweet corn from the freezer in, and some um, chopped up nori seaweed. It's meant to be like fake vegan -y, you know, chickpea tuna. Either way, it's really tasty. And obviously a tin of chickpeas is what, about 50, 60p at the most. So a lot cheaper. Mushrooms were on offer reduced. So I thought I'd clear them out of those because you know mushrooms will get used in this house and bananas because Chris always has bananas. So that's what we were up to. And it came to £20 and 8p. That's not including the paracetamol. Yeah, prices, eh? Back from Tesco's, pretty decent haul of stuff. So let me go through some of the things. We have got some, I can't believe it's not only one because it's not reduced at the moment. We've got some mushroom ketchup because one of my apps has it where I can claim a pound off. We have got Chris's minestrone soup. We've got some Mr. Freeze because... You all need Mr. Freeze in your life if you are ready for the summer. So I spotted these and thought I'll get them now because you can guarantee when the weather hits really warm, there won't be any in the shop. Two packs of the corn. No, that, no discounts on those at the moment, so I am just keeping an eye out. Now, I was going to get just the cheap peppers, but when I saw the price difference and the size difference... I think it works out just as good to get these ones because the size of the other peppers were like disproportionately smaller. They were at least a third smaller than the size of these. Some bananas to Chris. That is for Archie for his leg for doing that. Some cucumber, mushrooms I managed to get reduced so I got a couple of those. I got some tomatoes. My tomatoes are not quite ready yet. We are going to be transferring them out of their mini pots into their big pots soon so hopefully we're there six eight weeks we'll start getting some tomatoes some um greek white cheese onions because we have finally run out got these from marks and spencers because they were reduced but they're not even going to be ready for at least another week um hopefully have burgers at some point over the weekend if we can get the barbecue going um some baby lettuce Chris had a real hankering for Madeira cake, so I thought I'd treat him and get a little Madeira cake for him because I looked at a Madeira cake recipe online and, yeah, I'd be able to make a much bigger cake, but probably half of it would get wasted because it would just dry out. So I thought, well, for the sake of things, it was about a pound. I got one of those. Spotted a reduced plant chef pizza um, in the whoopsie section so I thought well we'll give that a go because even though I make my own pizzas quite often it is nice every now and again just to have one in for those emergencies when you don't have time to make your own dough and all those things and then 
spotted this one and thought well we've got to give this one a go because this is a vegan pepperoni pepperoni one and thought well you know give that a go and it's £1.65 off in one of my apps now you could have got three at the £1.65 off price but I'm not sure whether we're going to like it so I didn't want to risk it but if the offer's still there I can get another two next week if we really enjoy it so that is what we have got that came to £29.16. That's with all the discounts. So I have done my totals. I have given you a running total so far, but I've got the final total. It is not £100, no. As you could see halfway through that video, it was going up and up and up and up. And I've got written down, as usual, on a scrappy piece of paper that I have been using, my total for this month. <gasps> a hundred and sixty one pounds and six pence that is more oh crikey than our hundred pound budget but we kind of expected it now i did visit some other shops that i wouldn't normally go to so obviously there was the world food store but it had things in that were really interesting and i know i will use but i've written down a couple of notes on things that i wanted to talk about so this month we bought the ice cream i'll tell you something don't buy the banana one it was awful awful the chocolate nutty one was delicious we will not be buying it very often because it will go too far too fast yes it got demolished really rather quickly um what else oh yeah so obviously we spent money on oil and herbs and coffee and tea so that kind of amps up the budget a little bit because it's not something that we buy every month we might buy it every few months and I don't normally buy one box at a time. I prefer to buy a couple of packets or a couple of boxes of some things like that. The herbs, well, they are a lot cheaper than buying those little glass jars from the supermarket. So if you do get to go, to, if you do find an alternative source, and just as I'm talking, the washing machine's kicked into spin. So if you can hear it, a noise in the background, that's what it is. But as I say in my videos, life goes on in the background while I'm recording this. So as I was saying, herbs. In those little jars, you will not get great value. Those jars feel like they weigh a lot because the jars are such thick glass. Go into your international aisle in your supermarket and have a look there. You will often find a better value. You're buying bigger quantities, but the value per gram is a lot, lot better. Now my unicorn grocery, which is in Charlton, sells them in bags as well and they are much much better value than the supermarket so I would much rather buy them from there than like I said those little glass jars that you maybe get 10 grams of product in them that lasts two minutes anything else that I've got oh we're going into a big spin now uh, oh yeah you know my um, packs of um, vegan ham that I get so I complain about the prices of those all the time, you know that. £2.60 in Tesco's for those. Yeah, I went into my local Sainsbury's. Now I know the prices in your smaller shops, you know, your 7-Eleven type shops that you go to. So my local little Sainsbury's. And they had, they sell them there. And they had a sticker that said, special buy. £2.75. I, I was like, I thought, oh, oh, great, brilliant, special buy. Looked at the price and nearly died. So it's 15 pence more expensive than my Tesco's, where I get them from. Now, I know those local shops have more, um, more expensive prices, but I've never seen it that expensive on a normal buy. It's normally pretty comparative to Sainsbury's, so the, to Tesco's. So the fact that they put that it was a special buy... I was dumbfounded, so I, I kind of, you know, <laughs> blinked quite a few times and walked past. Anyway, that's our shopping for this month. Hopefully next month we'll be able to rein it in a little bit better. I'm hoping in the next couple of months to use some vouchers that I have been um, saving up. You know, see the Tesco Club Card vouchers. Plus, I have been doing my online surveys and I have some apps that run in the background on my phone and on my laptop that pay me for um, having those running. 
through different companies. So I'm going to have a look and see where I'm up to with my vouchers. So I'm hopefully going to be able to use some vouchers within the next couple of months and do a big either Tesco shop or Asda shop to fill those cupboards back up again. Thanks for watching. I will put in the comment, no, I will put in the description box um, the apps that I've been using that I got some of my discounts from and I will put the address for Unicorn Grocery and I will put the address for Manchester World Foods and if you are in the local area, take a look. I'll see you next time.